Howdy ho neighbors, Rado Goji here. And I'm Sorlin and Greg. And, and welcome back to uh, Deadly Premonition. And we just figured out the problem. Uh, well, in between videos, we realize that we have to equip the gun in order to shoot things. So you can get that, and then you can also shoot that trading card thing down as well. Yep. So we'll so. just... Uh, I knew there had to be something to that. Should probably back off from the tree. Back the fuck away, man. George, of course, does not notice this at all. George doesn't care. Missing piece of pinheel shoe. Hmm. I could jab George's eye out with this. <laughs> Death to the king! <laughs> <laughs> Father, the throne is mine! <laughs> now we can profile some more. A little bit. This again, except with more pictures. Nah. Ah, nah. Sneeze, sneeze. Oh, okay. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, she broke a... Why did the killer bother putting that up in the tree? Wait, I'm... No, that's... Anna's in the tree, I think. Isn't she? Oh, no, she went... She was in that tree. The pin... The, the, the heel of her shoe got put in that bird's nest. Yeah, but that looked like she was in the tree and that person is is the person in the the shoe is the one who's crying. I figured that was Anna. I don't know that that's Anna. We'll see in a minute, I guess. Oh, okay. Where's the Oh, there oh, here it is. is. We got a trading card. Oh, a trading card of Anna. Ah! Ah! <laughs> All right. Yep, yeah, sure. Fine. $200. Damn. Find more of these. Where's the other one? Over here? That's rare as hell. Okay, yep, there you go. The first edition Anna card. It's that gas mask guy. He has trading cards made of all the town residents. And York. That's why he Before knew, meeting him. That's he why went. he knew our name. And the guy was like, Mr. 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 Oh. Francis York Morgan. Oh, we're going to have to break those gates. We can break the gates now, though. Yes, with our FBI gun. Or the mission knife, if we really want to. How do I do that? The gun is infinite. The gun is good. <laughs> that line is from Zardoz, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> Featuring Sean Connery wearing a red diaper. The first cinematic feature directed by John Borman after his, after his award-winning film Deliverance. Was it? Yes, it was. He was given money to make whatever movie. I told you that before we watched Zardoz. I remember that. Oh, that was that, down. that was, was years ago, though. Yeah, I was like, uh, I just want you guys to know before you watch this that uh, he had after after the Deliverance blew up so much, he he got money to make whatever movie he wanted, and this was the movie he made, Zardoz, and it's a doozy. Kind of like how after the Deer Hunter, that guy went and made Heaven's Gate, which wasn't that good. Dun, dun, dun. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's upside down. It's upside down? I guess this is Are you sure you're not just holding the picture upside down, like York? These holes on the ground were made by uh, high stiletto heels all around here. And this depression here, Agent Morgan, I see what happened here. shoes um um really enjoying it sicko this is why i'm Come the down. fbi agent <laughs> not you disgusting you know if, if george you certainly Morgan have a vivid top of imagination the ocean, adds a drum beat to this <laughs> don't you think zach and what was his name again that hollywood producer <laughs> That's right. Joel. Joel Schumacher. We really ought to introduce George to him, Zach. Joel from MST3K. He'd do a great job making fun of this game, Zach. Profiling is a little different from writing a screenplay, though. An idea being interesting doesn't make it fact. Let me enlighten you, George. The footprints reveal that one of the heels were missing from the shoes. The and heel that I found. The shoes that we saw at the office. <laughs> Furthermore, 
There would be even more disgusting evidence if he did kneel and, well, do as you suggested. Oi, oi. If you want proof, go ahead and try it for yourself. <laughs> but you'll just be cranking it he to a tree. He knew you for a reason other than simple perversion. It was complicated perversion. Zack. What was he doing in front of Anna? You don't want to know, dude. <laughs> um, crocheting. <laughs> well, we're gonna find out. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I just noticed it shows the piece of evidence in the corner. Now yeah. I get it. He was kneeling to pray in front of her. Oh, just like the twins said. She was a goddess. <laughs> yes, that makes so much more sense than George's version. <laughs> Once dead Anna was transformed. Yes, you have to see Anna hung on the Yggdrasil for three days and then gave up one of her eyes for knowledge. So, who is Miss Stiletto Heels? The steps are close coming up to Did the Did you just assume Miss Stiletto Heels' gender? Apart going away. There was a reason to hurry away then. That settles it then, George. Miss Stiletto Heels is a third party here. She's not the murderer. No one runs away from an object of worship. She could trees, be another though. victim who was with Anna. Or perhaps an accomplice who fled for some reason. That means it would be part of the guilty party. She is also one who took... whatever it was Anna was holding on to. In her yeah, no, no need to, go to talk quickly, you know. Respect the player's time. <laughs> Long pauses are perfectly fine. Only Miss Stiletto Heels knows the reason for that. She might know something about the man with the reversed peace mark, too. Miss mm -hmm. Stiletto Heels How many is like women a C wear high stiletto heels in this town, do you think? <laughs> oh, I should think most of them have at least one pair. I do, too, before you ask. But oh, she didn't. She's the bad. Out here mm -hmm. wearing them. Arrest her now! Well, except maybe one person. <laughs> you. <laughs> Don't keep me in the dark, then. Who might this elegant lady be? Diane. I'm fairly the sure the that cigarettes tower. don't sound quite like that when you put but them out in an ashtray. I heard she'll be coming back in a couple days. That's then we'll the just have to give her a warm welcome home. A more um, immediate oh. matter, then. Okay, we had a... Where in town can you find something like this? It should my, be a build my thing that isn't used anymore. With either a lot of metal or metal machinery or something metal like that. Metal militia. The old lumber mill. Metal meltdown. Metal up your ass. It's time to really get this show right. on the road. The cutscene's skipping. Could this you is a digital download game. I don't get that. It's that, it's that sweary quality. <laughs> Did we win? Yay! Hooray! No extra enemies defeated this chapter. Oh, darn it. Although we wanted to gun that old man down. Fun's total amount. Oh, gl I'm glad we got that $200 trading card to supplement our income. Yeah. Missed. Not like our pay is any... Ah, uh, yes, one of the three soundtracks in this If game. that's where she was killed... Yeah, there's more like five. Why would the killer go to all the trouble of carrying her all the way here? I don't know yet. My profiling Me. instinct Me. only <laughs> one thing is for sure, though. The unsub's personality is totally different before and after the crime. The unsub killed her in a brutal, horrifying way, 
and then displays powerful adoration after she's dead. Something close to love. That could well be the key What's to love got this. to do with it? Got to do. Got to do with it. I will say this, though, George. Profiling is a risky business. You can go mad at any time! <laughs> the little footprints himself. Well, then, everything I've just said falls apart. But there's no evidence that he left those stiletto footprints. I'm sure we have Miss Stiletto Heels to thank for those tracks. All I can do is deduce the unsub's feelings in light of the... Well, look how and suspicious she's acting back MO. there. Modus operandi. We know what it's MO means. We're police. It usually unveils something that a normal forensic analysis... She's like your That's my way of proxy. It's not for everyone, but it works Don't for me. Don't think twice. It's just another day for you and me in paradise. <laughs> Episode 1.5, Burger Sight. Oh, it's, this time it's only 2,200 yards away. That's all right. Time for... Driving! <laughs> oh, look, look at the... Uh, the uh, we don't have gas or, or hit percentage, so I guess we're invincible. We're and invincible have... and have endless gas. I'm assuming that's what that means. We can ride Valhalla shiny and crow. <laughs> Witness me! <laughs> oh, let's see if they can talk this time. When I first joined the force... Oh, hey, they want to talk now. They like us it now. It closed up right when I first moved here. And now it's totally abandoned. I presume so. I've never really been inside, so I don't know for sure, but it sure is run down. Deserted buildings are perfect for criminal hideouts and activities. I keep telling Harry to have the place torn down. Probably a for that. After all, it's already been used as the site of Anna's murder. We don't know that for sure yet, Agent Morgan. I know That's everything. But the perpetrator selected the lumber. Agent York, you seem very confident about this. I'm the <coughs> protagonist. <laughs> Confidence is a sweet spot between being rude and hopeless. I'm just drawing natural conclusions from the facts that we've seen. That sounds exactly like being full of confidence, at least to me. And to normal people with common sense. Oh! She owned you. Bear that in mind. Oh, I will, Agent York. Actually, I found that Thank common sense is almost always not true. Either way, we'll know for I sure. I found that going to common the sense is not really common. So keep your pearls of wisdom to yourself, and let's hurry. Well said, George. Can you step on it, Keep your York? old wives' tales to yourself. Right. Get that agent on her, agent. Wait, can we run over it? Get it. Yeah. Oh. Sorry about that, George. I just had to get thirty dollars lying on the road. I don't see why we need to apologize. It's not like we're wrecking his car or anything. Yeah. Crush some telephone poles. Power and telephone are out in Greenville tonight. <laughs> as a madman has destroyed. Oh, oh no! Not twenty dollars. Oh no! Well, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> York, you knocked out power in the entire area. Pay us twenty dollars. <laughs> Is he Richard Nixon all of a sudden? I fuck if I know. <laughs> That's the voice I settled on <laughs> for FBI agent, FBI superior Griffin. <laughs> You're a loose cannon, York. <laughs> Am I now? <laughs> oh, y'all can't see me doing the tap my chest thing. It's great. I hope this is so. Wait a minute. Way to the old lumber mill. You mean? To, I think it is. Yeah, you mean there. to tell me that you dressed as York Morgan for Halloween and you hadn't beaten Deadly Premonition? Correct. Oh, okay. Wow. We gotta wait for that thing. Oh, there's a race over there. You wanna get him in a race? <laughs> Not this! I think we've got to... Oh, it's hitching again. That's let's all. go. Find out if your facts can be trusted. No, let's Full of confidence, right? Yes, let's get we, to the lumber we established all this. <laughs> your car cannot turn at all. I don't think... Can any cars turn in this game? Or are they all the same? I think they're all the same. I don't know. Why even bother having the sim there? The driving? Yeah. To make it open world, of course. Gosh. Gosh. 
your open world design is necessary. Evil. You two stay here. I can't concentrate on profiling with other people around me. We did it fine earlier. It. We're investigating this case together. Listen, I can't risk the crime scene being compromised by you two. <laughs> and I'm going to go shoot some saying? more ghosts. You're not the only professional law enforcement officer here, Agent Morgan. <laughs> but I'm the, the only competent crime one. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was rude of me. But this is how I operate. Furthermore... Yes? Furthermore what? To me, the outsider FBI agent, every citizen of this town is a suspect. You two could be in on this whole thing for all I know. The great are good. suspects out of the crime scene. How can you say such a thing? <laughs> because I'm a fun fucking of sociopath. <laughs> you should have left him behind and come here by ourselves. <laughs> You're right. Yes, you should have. Would it have been the first so time? Yes, I'm you sorry should have. He says before job. he goes in. You're both fucking idiots. And I am a murderous psychopath. Should have countered with, for all we know, you killed Anna. But, you know. A big survival knife. Oh, more zombies. Oh, no. Did you hear that, Zach? If they're pros, then we should let every first-person shooter gamer out there join the SWAT team. <laughs> like that SWAT team I murdered. <laughs> Zach, they're here. <laughs> okay, let's... All right. Oh. Okay, cool. Oh, don't forget to always put salt in your eyes. Do, 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 do. We don't even need any other guns. Are there even any other guns in the game? Yes. Okay. All right. Hello. Okay, so we're in um the other world again. Lumber mill. <laughs> oh boy, this isn't old at all. Ooh. Excuse me, sir. You can't come into the lumber mill. Oh. I <laughs> Oh, no. I sew? <laughs> That's good for you. It's good for everybody to have a hobby. Oh, no. I'll oh, get it off. Oh, you're here. You should have thought about that before you tried to stick your hand down my throat. <laughs> Anyone else? Well, uh, there's a guy down there, but... You got a steel pipe! Why is a steel pipe when we have God, a My God, that's your Morgan's music! No, there was nothing in there, Zach. <laughs> Thank God I have infinite bullets. <laughs> Let's say, why do you even get, like, even... Like, even the melee weapons have ammo, basically. Yeah, the melee weapons, they uh, run out. I'm but actually going to use one of the band-aids. The gun is eternal. The gun is good. My, yeah, why not? One of my band-aids. Oh, we got... Yeah, we got, like, six of them. My band-aids. Nice. I'm stuck on band-aids, brains, but germs don't stick on me. Yeah, I'm just gonna chalk it up to the game being jank. But, yeah, uh, I mean that's fair. That's a fair assessment. <laughs> I love his little little happy reactions to getting headshots. <laughs> Amazing! I shot that ghost in the head. All right, yeah, now that we've cleared out the vermin from the lumber yard, <laughs> this place is ready to open for business. All right, George, you guys can come in now. <laughs> <laughs> so York made fun of us. Then he went inside. Then we heard lots and lots of shooting and people going, Oh, <laughs> no, then to them it would have been, this, Stop shooting at us. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Oh, my God, he's crazy. <laughs> Somebody help! Help, police! I am the police. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Alright, who are you? Oh, 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 it's the guy! It's the... Hey, bud. It's the... Okay, alright. Yeah, sure. I probably should. I've played, like, Unity games that are more effective. Oh, God. Why have Unity when you can make your own engine? 
Did they make their own engine for this? Ah, fuck no. if I know. No. I hope not. Okay. Uh, we're gonna end this after the cutscene. After the cutscene. Hello. They were having a Just party. Just as I thought, Zach. This is where Anna was killed. Um. <laughs> who even have a couch set up? Who sat on the? What? What's? Who's on the table? What? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Profiling start. <laughs> <laughs> that's prob that's gonna about to happen. He's he's about to, he's yeah. Oh, fuck there we go. Yeah, yeah right, let's whatever. Do it. Let's go profiling. Cool. Yeah. Why oh. the fuck not? Let's profile that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, it sounds like they were happy. Only had to shoot through fifteen zombies to get to profiling. Hey. And then there was a photorealistic picture of my family. Oh no! Which is actually possible on the PS3. Oh, oh. No, it's the Bendy Me Man! Her. Kill your family! <laughs> <laughs> this is boring. Same thing on every channel. <laughs> Oh, hang on, I think I see a bib. <laughs> no, never mind. How much evidence are we going to have to get here? Good God! <laughs> that was all on one drag. <laughs> now I need to collect the 12 pieces of evidence in Too this Too much room. noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Okay. We probably had one of those little ashtray things. Oh, yeah, we got four more, four clues to collect around here. We'll do that and, in the next video. Yep. So uh, until then, I've been Rado Goji. And I'm Sorlin Greg. And we'll be here next time. Join us, won't you?